Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvaldo Grimm here and today we are going to be taking a look at a Black Adam build guide. In today's video we are going to take a look at not one, not two, but three builds for Multiverse Black Lightning and all of them will be good in some specific situation and I'll explain for each and you will decide for yourself. After that we will take a look at what abilities to prioritize maxing on him, what team comps you should use him in and what artifacts you should have uh, him equipped with. So stay tuned for that because that will be after the builds. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding this video or any other in just to mobile topic, feel free to ask them down in the comments, but please uh, uh, try to not reply to comments, like if I answer your comment and you have a further question, post it in a separate comment, because that way it is much easier for me to access it. So with all, with all that being said, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, Subscribe for more content like this and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss an upload and let's get into it. So before we get into the first build, a little bit of a disclaimer. The builds that I'm going to do are going to be for level 60 gears. Because of the fact that I think the level 60 gears is going to be the most optimal place for most players to get their characters to. If you want to get them up to level 70 gears, uh, it is up to you. But uh, on Black Lightning, Lightning you really shouldn't. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, it is up to you. And there are not that many modifications that need to be made. But this video will be only for level 60 gears builds. So that is what uh, we are going to work with. At the same time, when I'm doing these builds, I'm I'm going to keep in mind uh, when calculating uh, that you have a maxed out character. What do I understand by a maxed out character? Level 60 gears, epic talents, high rolls on gears, 6 star character, uh, maximum level character. But uh, if you don't have those things, it's no problem. This is what I'm going to work uh, with in terms of calculating the values. But you should by no means try to go straight for this, uh, but you could follow the guidelines of the builds towards perfection. So I'm going to present you basically the peak performance of the build and you are going to see that uh, as a goal to accomplish, but you can go slowly and at your own pace towards it. There's no need to rush towards it. So with all that being said, let's get into our first build. Our first build will be uh, Damage Dealer teamed up with Multiverse Flash. So for those of you who don't know uh, the thing about Multiverse characters, their, their builds are going to differ uh, considering if they will be or will be not teamed up with Multiverse the Flash. Because Multiverse the Flash is going to have a passive that is going to give a huge amount of critical uh, attack chance and a pretty decent amount of critical attack damage. And by simply pairing them up with Multiverse of Flash, their build will 100% uh, change because you will have uh, to have uh, different stats. So the first build, uh, which will be the damage dealer with Multiverse of Flash, will uh, focus on getting uh, as much uh, uh, attack while still having maximum critical attack chance and maximum critical attack damage. Uh, considering this build, uh, we are going to only have to add some critical attack damage because with the passive of Multiverse of Flash we already have maximum critical attack chance and for that we will have the following. Four critical attack damage talents, two defense talents and uh, 15 uh, attack gear rolls. And uh, I have put those two talents over there in the talent section because in my opinion the attack damage talent gives too little of an attack because it is calculated out of the base attack, not out of the total attack. If you want to you can feel free to replace the two defense talents that you see over there with attack talents for a little bit more damage but I think the defense over there is a little bit of a better value. If you max out this build and again by maxed out I mean uh, level 60 gears uh, with uh, high rolls on gears uh, uh, with epic talents you are going to end up with the following uh, 6527 attack uh, 23724 health 50% defense 22% uh, critical attack chance uh, and 246% uh, uh, critical attack damage but keep in mind the critical attack damage and critical attack chance will go up to the maximum amount after you pair him up with multiverse of flash 
I do recommend you do this build if you want to pair him up with Multiverse of Flash, but uh, keep in mind the fact that uh, the most optimal team for Multiverse the Flash is going to be Multiverse Armored Supergirl and uh, Multiverse Green Arrow, but this is a build you can kind of have fun with uh, and experiment uh, and you can uh, use him instead of Multiverse Armored Supergirl as a damage dealer, though this is not the most optimal way to do things because Multiverse Armored Supergirl is a far better damage dealer. So this is the build uh, to use only if you are going to use him as a main damage dealer or as a secondary damage dealer alongside Multiverse Armor Supergirl uh, but uh, for other builds that uh, don't, don't uh, make him be a damage dealer and you can have him uh, without worrying about that we'll talk about uh, later. This build will do very well in uh, terms of uh, dealing damage in raids and in arena and you should have no trouble against most teams and most bosses. Getting into the next build we will talk about a balanced tank build. Up to the second build, this build will make him a balanced tank character. Uh, this uh, build is made for teaming him up to, with uh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl and Multiverse of Flash. Him being uh, the third character and being tanky, but we will also add some attack to make use of that maximum critical attack chance and maximum critical attack damage that will come by default by pairing him up with Multiverse Armor Supergirl and Multiverse of Flash. So the, the balanced tank build goes the following. 3 resistance is talents, 3 defense talent, 1 uh, defense gear roll, uh, 8 health gear rolls, 6 attack gear rolls. So, for max stout build, and yet again I mean epic talents, high rolls on gears, maximum level character, 6 stars, you're going to end up with the following. 77 total defense, uh, meaning only 2% will go to waste because the cap is 75, 60% resistances, uh, uh, 43,724 health, uh, 4,375 attack, and basically this is going to be a build that you will want to use if you are specifically using him instead of Multiverse Green Arrow as a third member for the Multiverse the main team, which will be comprised of him, the Flash and Multiverse Armor Supergirl. This build will make him tanky and serve a, the role as a tank with uh, great capacity, but at the same time will add a little bit of an attack uh, and in case uh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl is going to die, he will uh, add he will act like a very good uh, replacement for her until the next match. Moving on to the next build, we will discuss a damage dealer build that does not need to be paired up with Multiverse The Flash. Okay, so getting to the last build. So you don't want to put him in the Multiverse team with Multiverse Armor Supergirl and Multiverse The Flash, but you still want to pair up Multiverse The Flash with Multiverse Armor Supergirl. Where, where does that leave Black Lightning? Well, worry not because I do have a build uh, in the situation where you don't wish to pair him up with Multiverse of Flash and you want to pair him up with other Multiverse characters. And for this build we are going to do a damage dealer build with all Multiverse of Flash and this will uh, be based uh, yet again on having critical attack chance, critical attack damage uh, and attack. But this time uh, we will need to invest more of our talents and gear rolls into that because of the fact that we will not need to have the Multiverse the Flash passives to aid us in battle. So the, dam the damage dealer without Multiverse of Flash build will go as following. 2 critical attack chance talents, 4 critical attack damage talents, 2 critical attack chance gear rolls, 1 critical attack damage gear roll, and 12 attack gear rolls. And for max out stats you are going to have the following. 5875 attack, 76% uh, critical attack chance, uh, 281 critical attack damage, 28% defense, uh, and uh, uh, 23724 health. Yet again, as I say, with all the builds that are like this, which are, uh, let's say, glass cannon, for those of you who don't know what glass cannon is, is dealing a lot of damage but dying fast. If you're not comfortable going full attack like this, you can subtract one or at most two attack gear rolls from your gears and replace them with defense for more survivability. This build will do well in uh, other teams that don't include Multiverse of Flash, but you're going to, if you're going to pair him up with Multiverse of Flash, this is most definitely not the most optimal build. 
Now getting into special moves, uh, you have uh, pretty much two options. Uh, all his special abilities are great. Uh, I, re I still like his first ability because of the fact that it can uh, kill a target and still damage the next one that tags in, but that is most definitely not the thing you want to max out first. And getting that out of the way, you have to choose between uh, uh, his second ability or his third ability. His second ability will uh, put the enemy in a cage, inflicting uh, dot damage onto him, and his third ability will uh, be armor piercing with a very high amount of damage. Uh, you could go either way to be honest early on in the game, but if you are going to use him uh, against uh, boss fights uh, in raids, you are going to need to have his third ability maxed. And uh, when it comes to higher level of arena with more stronger opponents, uh, you will need to have his third ability maxed. Because uh, while his second ability will deal dot damage and at the beginning of the game you will encounter few teams with dot resistance, the stronger teams you hide, the more will have dot resistance. So that's why I recommend maxing the third ability, which is armor piercing. Now we will move on to the team comp section. In terms of team comps, as I have uh, said uh, previously in this video, you have quite a few options, depending on your build. Uh, the damage dealer build with, uh, along with Multiverse of Flash will be the, mo the most optimal team for that will be him, coupled with Multiverse of Flash and with Multiverse Green Arrow. The balanced tank build will best perform when you pair him up with uh, multi Multiverse of Flash and Multiverse uh, Armored Supergirl. And the damage dealer without Multiverse the Flash will work well with pretty much any team in the game. You could do quite a few things with this. You could pair him up with Dr. Fate for example to reduce the cost of his abilities. Or when it comes to Arena and Champions Arena you could pair him up with uh, uh, Multiverse Captain Colt and Multiverse uh, Supergirl, not Armor Supergirl. Or just have fun with what's left of the Multiverse team after you have made your first team with Multiverse the Flash, Multiverse Armor Supergirl and Multiverse Green Arrow just use on black lightning whatever's left i don't know th those are the team you can pretty much pair him up in uh, any way with multiverse characters he doesn't really have a great synergy with white canary and batwoman but other than that he can be paired up with any multiverse character just keep in mind what type of build you are using because if you are using a build that requires multiverse the flash then you should pair him up with multiverse the flash if not then you should not pair him up with multiverse the flash because uh, you will waste multiverse the flash's passive so this was everything for the teams, so let's get into the artifacts. In terms of the artifacts, it will be as usual the Holy Trinity of the Old Blades, Claws of Horus uh, and uh, Cosmic Staff. The Old Blades will of course be most optimal in terms of dealing damage. Claws of Horus will be used as a decent replacement for uh, uh, the Old Blades in case you don't uh, have it. Uh, and uh, Cosmic Staff can be used uh, in Arena and Champions Arena on him in order to make sure that even if you do a mistake you will not get one-shotted. Keep in mind that you shouldn't uh, try this strategy in raids because in raids uh, your most uh, uh, go your goal is to deal as much damage as possible. So when it comes to raids uh, you should always use uh, the old blades and if you don't have the old blades you should use Cause of Horus. But when it comes to Arena you can use Cosmic Staff in order to increase your survivability chances. This was everything for this one. I know there were a lot of builds. To be honest, uh, what I do recommend is the Balanced Tank build and the Damage Dealer without Multiverse the Flash build. I wouldn't really do the first build because of the fact that uh, uh, he is uh, a less effective damage dealer than uh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl. But at the end of the day, I just put everything uh, over here and it is up to you whether you choose to build one or the other. So. Again, for any questions that you might have, comment down below, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe for more content like this and maybe hit that bell button to get notified with every single upload. And I'll see you in the next one.